Congress that's actually acted irresponsibly and put Americans at risk. Congressman Issa and others have focused on politics over public safety. Unfortunately, these same members of Congress were nowhere to be found when the Justice Department and others invited them to help look for real solutions to the terrible problem of violence on both sides of our southwest border. That's tragic, and it is also irresponsible. Now the Justice Department is saying it will not prosecute their boss, the Attorney General. Joining us from Spartanburg, South Carolina, with reaction is Republican Congressman Trey Gowdy. Good to see you, Congressman. Good morning. The latest on this story, as we mentioned, the Department of Justice will not pursue this in a letter from Attorney General, Deputy Attorney General James Cole to John Boehner. They essentially say the withholding of documents, quote, does not constitute a crime. Your reaction? Predictable but disappointing. Uh, unfortunately, they are relying on precedent that was set by a re Republican administration. There have been Republican U.S. attorneys who have refused to prosecute contempt of Congress as well. So we moved to civil contempt, which we knew was going to happen. And we, we passed both versions of contempt, but we were under no illusion that the U.S. attorney in the District of Columbia was going to prosecute his boss. I will say this, all of us who have been prosecutors before have had to prosecute cases that perhaps uh, we didn't believe in or we didn't think the law was accurate. Uh, that's why uh, you want prosecutors to be independent. So I'm disappointed. Uh, we are not surprised, and that's why we're going forward with civil contempt. So you are moving forward, not a done issue there. Earlier, we spoke with the family of Brian Terry, disgusted at the walkout of Democrats. Now, Democrats. now 17 Democrats joined you in this contempt vote, but meanwhile, is Nancy Pelosi and the Congressional Black Caucus and others who walked down. What did you think of that tactic? Well, we knew it was coming. We had heard a day before. I was disappointed. I, I think you need to stand and fight. If you have arguments on your side, if, if you think contempt is unwarranted, if you think something less than the full disclosure of documents is appropriate, then stand and make your case on the floor of the House. But to walk out, um, you know, I, I try not to judge other people's motives. Uh, I didn't like it when Nancy Pelosi tried to judge our motives, so I'll let them explain why they did it. My preference is to stand and try to win in the, uh, in, the, in the court of opinion, in the court of facts, which is the floor of the House, instead of walking down the stairs. Many, some even on the right, Congressman, suggest that pursuing this now civil contempt of Congress charge is distracting in this political environment when you've got the economy struggling, when you've just got the Supreme Court decision on the constitutionality of Obamacare. How do you feel about that? Is that distracting from what's most important in this country at this point? If we can't do more than one thing at a time, we have no business being in Congress. You need to throw us all out and find some people who are capable of multitasking. But the notion that we can't uh, pursue respect for the rule of law, uh, work on job creation, pursue the national security leaks, uh, take care of foreign policy, I mean, the notion that we can only do one thing at a time, you need to get a new batch of legislators if all we can do is myopically focus mm -hmm. on one issue at a time. That's why you have a half dozen to a dozen committees of Congress, so people can focus on other things. In so 10 I, seconds, that, that Congressman, is, is the only acceptable outcome the handing over of all documents? Yes. If you want all the justice and all the truth, then you want all the documents. If you'll settle for 50% of the justice and the truth, then, mm -hmm. then you walk away. But I want it all. Congressman Trey Gowdy from Spartanburg, South Carolina, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Appreciate Have a good weekend. It. You too. Up next on the rundown is the Obama administration trying to appease the